Hey Glam Fam, so this is MUA Mommy, first ever YouTube video. Um, quality's not that great, but it's gonna get better throughout the videos, so I finally did it. I finally made a YouTube, and my first ever YouTube is gonna be unboxing my Jeffree Star PR. Um, for those who don't know, I made his PR list, and I'm super stoked. I am I'm done crying already. I can't cry any more about how excited I am that this happened. So he, <laughs> when he told me I made his PR list, I thought he was just sending the glosses and like the 12 extended Velour Liquid Lip Shades, but he actually, so these boxes have his coveted stunning mirrors and he sent me, oh gosh, it's part of the box. The pink chrome mirror, like, hi, how are ya? Like, only a Jeffree Star can do that. Hey, <laughs> I love it. It's super stunning, very chrome. And I've already used it today because I needed to do my makeup. And then he sent the blood sugar palette, which you all know comes in the really cute VCR style case. Um, I already have one, so the extra one's actually going to go to a friend. The Blue Blood Palette, which if you guys don't know what that looks like, is this beautiful baby right here. For those who have never seen it. So I am probably going to keep this and use it for a giveaway. So if we can get this channel to reach a thousand followers, someone is going to win this palette with a few extra goodies. I also have, so again, probably going to do this on a Twitter giveaway. If you're not following me on Twitter, it is MUA Mommy1995, and I'll have everything linked in the description box. I'm sure I'll figure out how to do that. Next thing he sent, which um, the next two things he sent, I'm really excited about because I actually don't have these yet. Um, the Platinum Ice Skin Frost Palette. Oh my gosh, she is so stunning. Beautiful. Like, hello, blind me. Oh, you gotta be smarter than the box, Cheryl. Okay, one thing you guys are gonna learn is um, I'm not the brightest bulb in the pack. I'm really not, but that's okay. And then the Northern Light Supreme Frost Palette. Now, if you guys haven't used his Supreme Frost formula yet, you need to because it's something else. I can't even open it. beautiful now um, let me know in the comments below if you guys like want me to swatch all of like the colors from all the Jeffree Star palettes because I have all of them the beauty color the androgyny the thirsty the alien the blood sugar the blue blood I don't think I'm missing any so if you guys like want palette swatches let me know three of his liquid frost um, the first one is frostitute this. Super stunning. The next one he sent is blue balls, so now I can finally say that Jeffree Star has given me blue balls, and I have been waiting a really long time to say that in front of a lot of people. Don't ask me why. I'm really just kind of weird. Blue balls. Super stunning. I'll have to put all of those on for you guys on another channel too. So like I said on like another video or whatever, let me know what kind of swatches you want to see. Expensive. Let me know what kind of swatches and stuff you guys want to see for me. Because I have quite the extensive makeup collection. Expensive is super pretty. That's what he sent me aside from the gloss collection. But not only did he send the gloss collection, he sent the 12... Um, extent because he did the extended shade release on the velour liquid lipsticks and he so there's like 12 um, liquid lipsticks that are now part of the permanent collection and he sent me those as well 
and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda cheated. I am wearing one of the lip lipsticks with a gloss over it right now. Um, and I'll show you which ones. So I'm actually wearing uh, the Poinsettia lipstick with Sky High gloss over it. His glosses smell like creme brulee. Actual heaven, his glosses smell like better than anything I've ever smelt before in my entire life. Um, so pigmented, so pretty. Um, I usually am not a gloss fan, but the moment I put his glosses on, like the moment I tried this gloss on, I about died and went to heaven and then came back down again to reality. Um, his glosses are not tacky, they're not sticky, they stay on all day and they just smell delicious, so I mean that works too. So what I did was I swatched all of them on my mouth <laughs> and I took pictures. So as I'm explaining each one, I'm gonna um, pop a picture of me wearing it over my head somewhere. I'll figure it out. It'll happen. The pictures will be there, I promise, with the names. Uh, mine came with the postcard and then like this iconic moment right here. Like, hello, gag me. First one is Sky High, which is the one I am wearing today. She is this beautiful, how do you even explain this one? I don't know. You're just gonna have to let it do the talking for itself. And can we just like take a moment to appreciate the packaging here? Like, if someone makes you mad, you can like stab them with your lip gloss. That's amazing. Like, oh my God. And she smells amazing. They all smell amazing. I also really like the doe foot applicators, um, which I will show you on a different one because this one um, I kind of already have red lipstick on. Put in front of the camera. Okay. So like, this is what Sky High looks like over poinsettia. So now we have Legends only. And then his lip glosses also have two finishes, like the Glitter Fantasy and Extreme Shine. Juicy, delicious, iconic on its own, or over any lipstick. So this is Extreme Shine. She, or, I'm so dumb. This is Legends Only. She is a super pretty, like, nude lip gloss, so I feel like this would go great over any of Jeffree's liquid lip um, nudes, or even his lip ammunition nudes or on its own. It's really stunning, as you guys can see in the photo above. Super stunning. This one I'm gonna show you is Shockwave. Oh, that's if I don't. <laughs> Shockwave is like, um, man. So I promise you guys, I will get better lighting. It's not always gonna be <laughs> this bad. Um, but honestly, name one person who has a really amazing first YouTube video ever. Like, come on. So this is Shockwave. She's like a really pretty, I want to say like a copper gold almost with like lots of glitter. Super stunning. Shows up really, the next one I actually really love. This is Dirty Royalty. And I know she looks scary, but she's actually like really shiny and like purpley milky on the mouth. Super stunning. Definitely worth it. I think everyone needs that one in their collection. So Diet Freeze is another one of those ones that people are like, gonna be a little intimidated but she's actually so pretty on the lips Ooh, and I think this would look good over like any of his blue liquid lipsticks or just by itself it's really pretty so then we have midnight lick which is the stunning black one and um, as you can see in the photo it's not like a scary black it's like a glossy like it's not black like the side of my hair is because my hair is half black half purple right now um, because as you guys grow with this channel with me you're gonna realize I'm gonna have a lot of fun hair colors this one is called spank me and I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie I was a little intimidated by spank me at first because it's super pink in the bottle but on the mouth it's Stunning. I'm actually gonna wear this one a lot more than I thought I would. I absolutely love it for being like a super hot pink. It's the kind of hot pink that I would definitely wear. And then Diamond Juice. This one is so pretty. 
So it's like a, it's not a nude. I would say it's a very light, sparkly brown. Um, as you can see in the photo, it's super pretty. And then, so I'm really happy I have these photos up for you guys because, like I said, my lighting is not that great yet, but we will get there, I promise. So the next one is Candy Drip. She is really pretty. Candy Drip actually is this one right here. It's a really pretty like pink with sparkles, but I did actually give Candy Drip away to a near and dear friend of mine because she absolutely loved it. It looked stunning on her and um, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. And she was really pretty. Um, but as you can see in the photo, really pretty color so wet peach is probably one of my favorites it's like this peachy oh wow i'm gonna cut that out of the video uh dropped it like a peachy orange sparkly tone i don't know she's just like so pretty this one's called i'm the boss and i love it because it's like an orange nude and it's so stunning it's super glossy and shiny and really like i think it brings out my lips tremendous so safe word is another super stunning one it's like a gold with like the green specks in it like the green glitter specks and as you can see in the photo she is so stunning Next we have Ice Cold, which is another favorite of mine because it's just like a straight crystal gloss with so much glitter in it. It's, whoo, so one thing you're gonna learn about me, I'm obsessed with glitter. I love glitter. Glitter is life. If I could bathe in glitter every single day, I would. And that's that. So this one is Control Freak and I think it's another one of my favorites and I know I say that about a lot of, a lot of them, but I can't help it. This one is definitely one of the extreme shine ones and she is so pretty by herself, but I want to put this like over my pink nudes that I have from Jeffree Star. Uh, and then to answer like questions you're probably going to ask, about 90% of my makeup collection is Jeffree Star. So this one is another favorite. Okay, they're all my favorites. I can't help it. So this one is sequin glass. Again, really hard to see on my camera. Nothing fancy yet. But sequin glass, she's like a, a topaz. I don't know if topaz is the right word for this. Probably not, but that's okay. The picture will do it justice. <laughs> the pictures don't even do these justice. I mean, like the pictures don't do these justice. I feel like if you don't have any of these in your collection, you need to get them now. And it doesn't even matter what color you get. Like it really doesn't. Like they are all stunning. They feel amazing. I would know. I swatched them all in my mouth. That really hurt. Um, word of advice, do not swatch 17 glosses and 12 liquid lipsticks on your mouth in one day because it doesn't feel good. I feel like Kato Potato. Like I understand what Kato Potato went through when she did that. And by the way, love Kato Potato. Hi, call me, love you. Would love to collab with you and meet you someday. Um, this one is her glossiness. Oh, we love a good sunshine moment coming back in. Her glossiness, very pretty. It's more of like a copper gold brown than it looks in the tube. But as you can see in the picture, she's super stunning. Just like all of them. Sorry, I'm sounding like a broken record here, but these glosses are absolutely amazing. And then last but not least, we have Crystal Climax. Super pretty as well. So I actually only have 17 glosses um, because only 17 came in the package. So I don't know if maybe they were like out of one or something or whatever, whatever, but that's okay. So now I'm going to show you guys the 12 liquid lipsticks that he are now part of the permanent collection and I'm going to swatch all of those on my arm for you guys. And because I'm covered in tattoos, I'm going to swatch it on this part of my arm. Um, or I can even swatch them on my hands, I guess, too, huh? Oh, look, my cat is making an appearance. Come here. Come here. Do you want to be YouTube famous? Come here. Come here. She's just sitting there meowing at me. Awkward. Come on, don't turn me down in front of everyone. Hey, 
Aphrodite, come here. She's so fat. She is a pure black cat with the most bright, beautiful yellow eyes you ever did see. And she's really fat and has a, um, my friend Veronica actually calls it a cookie pouch. Um, you're going to knock my fan over. Can you not? Hey. All right. So the first one I'm gonna show you, I actually want to show you guys poinsettia since that's the one I'm wearing today with sky high gloss over it. So this one is poinsettia. So he brought poinsettia back to the permanent collection, which I'm really happy about. She's super stunning all on her own, but of course I put this sky high gloss over it. So pretty. I mean, she's beautiful all on her own. Let's be real here, but I'm actually going to swatch them on the back of my hands. My hands are clean, by the way. She is really stunning even by herself. Um, also, I really suck at doing swatches, so don't, don't at me, all right? Let me try to move that down a little bit. Can you guys see that? I, it's really hard to see with like my light setup as of right now because like I said, we still learning, we're going. Maybe someone will sponsor me and I'll get like a badass like filming equipment setup. Okay, someone love me enough. But Poinsettia is a stunning like red with like sparkles in it. Like she's super pretty all on her own. But I wanted to add a gloss over it because I'm, I'm extra which I'm also super happy is part of this permanent collection because it's another one of my favorites. It's a little bit like on the dramatic weird side, but I don't care because if it's dramatic and weird, it, it, it's me. I love dramatic and weird. So this one's Restraints. It's like a super pretty like metallic gray with like stunning gorgeous shine all over it. Love it. And then he also brought back 818. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that um, as I'm talking about these, there's going to be pictures above my head of me also swatching these. So that's a good one, Cheryl. Uh, yeah, fail. That's okay. So he also brought back 818, which um, I'm, I'm not going to lie, super pretty, just maybe not my color. So this one is 818. She's more, um, I would say more coral pinky than orange. It's just my lighting, but it's more of like a coral pink. <gasps> oh, the next one's Huntington Beach. And honestly, I think I'm going to wear this to school on Monday. And I don't even care like how crazy I look because this is probably one of my favorite shades of like blue he's ever put out. I know it's really hard to see, but Huntington Beach is stunning, and I'm gonna wear it to school on Monday. I don't care. In case y'all didn't know, Jeffrey's li liquid lipsticks are eye safe, so you can use them as eyeliners. The next one is Venus Flytrap, which um, I really want to do my mom's lipstick or mom's makeup one day and put this on her just because it's a bright green, and um, my mom likes the color green. So that's Venus Flytrap. It's like a really bright lime green. I love it. That would also make for like a really pretty eyeliner or like a cool like design. That's like another thing. Um, I want you guys to like comment below is like what kind of makeup looks are you guys wanting from me on this channel? So I know people are probably tired of like seeing the same looks over and over again. What do you want to see from me? I, I don't want to say I can do anything but I can almost do anything. Like, do you wanna see how I did this pretty look today? Like this little half cut crease moment um, that I used um, the Androgyny palette with. And then I also used um, Northern Lights Supreme Frost with the, um... oh crap. I used uh, the Northern Lights Supreme Frost and Platinum Ice um, highlights to be blinding today. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this look because I'm actually like really proud of it. But also let me know what else you want to see on this channel. Like it doesn't have to be just beauty. We can do anything on this channel, me and you. Let's do it. I just need you to tell me below in the comments what you want me to do. And I'm going to try my best to like everyone's comments and like comment and interact. I'm going to try my best. So 
before I forget, the next shade is Romeo. Again, it's like a really pretty pink. Maybe not one I'd wear a lot, but like be really cute for like a good cut crease moment. The next one is Family Jewels, and I actually already have Family Jewels in a mini because I have his red pink mini bundle, and then I have his nudes bundle, the one that had um, Christmas Cookie and Nathan and Family Jewels, that one in it. So pretty. So this is Family Jewels. This is one of my favorite nude browns that he has out. So pretty. Love it. Oh wait, no, that one doesn't smell like root beer. No, what one smells like root beer? Unicorn Blood smells like root beer, I know. I know that I think Celebrity Skin smells like root beer. I don't know, some of his stuff just smells really freaking good, all right? <laughs> if like Jeffrey, like Jeffrey's amazing with his packaging, his scents, his names. I, Jeffrey is just a genius and I, I can't wait to meet him and hug him someday. Like, let's be honest. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm probably one of like the biggest Jeffree Star fans out there. So when he retweeted me and said that like I was a star, like I cried. Let's be honest. I cried. My mom held me while I was crying. Like, I wish I was being dramatic right now and like exaggerating, but I'm not. I, I cried like a little bitch. Um, train of thought. Next one is first class. Super pretty. I actually can't wait to wear this one. First class is like a really pretty gold, like a metallic gold. So pretty. And noise in the background, by the way, it's like a hundred million degrees here in Oregon right now, and my room is very hot. So a girl doesn't want to be sweating like boob sweat all up on camera, okay? The next one is Mermaid Blood, which I really like. I think what would be really pretty as well is if you like ombre mermaid blood with huntington beach it that would look sickening also i'm not ambidextrous when it comes to swatching so my swatches on this hand aren't going to be as good so this mermaid blood also who's freaking excited for his summer collection to come out so i don't know if you guys have like seen any of his snaps or anything yet but he's gonna have two palettes in his summer collection okay that right there is like crazy. He's a genius. And then he also said like this is going to be his biggest collection to date. So I'm just like sitting here on the edge of my bed like, okay, but when's the launch? When's the review, Jeffrey? Because I can't wait to put your products all over my face. The next one we have is Thirst Trap, which is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of Candy Ass almost. And Candy Ass smells amazing. I don't know what it smells like. If you guys know what exactly the scent is for candy ass please let me know because I still can't think of it to this day but, but she's stunning she's cute so that right there is what did I just say that was thirst trap Ooh, another idea if you guys like want to see my entire Jeffree Star collection that could be done too I mean it's still growing to this day but like what I have now like the merch and makeup and stuff like if you guys want to see that definitely let me know we can do that. Or even if you want like a makeup tour, I can do that too. I have lots of makeup. So the next one is Cherry Wet. I actually really like this one a lot more than I thought I would. And I see myself wearing it a lot. It's more like a, I don't know. It's like a coral red maybe. I don't know. I'm really bad with like describing things, but it's so pretty. As you can see, it makes my lips look amazing. And then last but not least, wow, not bad, Cheryl, it's soft serve. This one is really, really pretty. I just don't know how I like it on me personally, but I think it's a really pretty color and I wanna use it for like a half cut crease moment or like a full cut crease moment. I don't know, let me know. Soft serve. All right, so that's all 12 of the extended shades that are now part of the permanent family on my arms or hands or whatever. Learn your body part, Cheryl. So 
not too bad for a first YouTube video. Um, I'm swinging this mirror around like I'm Jeffrey himself. Like, honestly, though, like, and it's pretty, like, it's lightweight, but, like, durable. Like, I didn't know what to think because I haven't, I don't own any of his mirrors yet. So I'm, like, really happy that he sent one, like, Cloud9 that he sent one. But I love it. It's, like, not heavy or anything. So I'll definitely be doing this a lot when, um, uh, doing, like, makeup and stuff on my channel. Ooh, a girl's looking cute today. All right, I wish you guys can like see my makeup a little bit better in this lighting, but that's okay. I did it for you guys. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you want a tutorial on this look. I can do that too. So, we are at the end of the video. I have finally unboxed everything and showed it for you guys. Showed you guys all the swatches. So now I can try to figure out how to reorganize my makeup because uh, Jeffree Star completed my entire life and sent me things and I better stop before I start crying again. I just feel so humbled and blessed and honestly like you guys have also helped me a lot like you guys that have already been following me on Twitter and Instagram and my Facebook video page which I'll be linked below by the way. <laughs> Shameless plug! Uh, you guys have also been like super awesome by like sharing my looks and my tweets and convincing me to finally do a YouTube. Uh, it's not the best first YouTube video, but it's here. We are here and, you know, ready to shine, be great. Um, you, some of you have even been with me since I first started makeup back when I had some serious scary looking black brows. Ooh, maybe I should post a side by side of those on my Twitter, well, let me know. So if you have any content ideas, like anything you want to see me do, create, um, anything, let me know. And then on Twitter, I want you guys to DM me or tweet me um, questions because I think my next video, I want to do a Q&A so you guys can learn about me. Um, so I will put like, um, I'll put a tweet up, you know, saying ask me questions for Q&A and then head over there and, ooh, arm fat, let's not. Head over there and let me know what you guys want to know about me. Ask some questions. The next video will be a Q&A because I want you guys to get to know me and like me, hopefully. <laughs> and we shall grow with this channel. Um, until then, I will see my glam fam next time. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.